If I were loved as I desire to be by Alfred Lord Tennyson, 1809-1892 If I were loved as I desire to be, what is there in the great sphere of the earth and range of evil between death and birth that I should fear if I were loved by thee? All the inner, all the outer world of pain, clear love would pierce and cleave if thou wert mine, as I have heard that somewhere in the main fresh water springs come up through bitter brine. Twere joy, not fear, clasped hand in hand with thee, to wait for death, mute, careless of all ills, apart upon a mountain, though the surge of some new deluge from a thousand hills flung leagues of roaring foam into the gorge, below us as far on as I could see. OK, so this poem is by Alfred Lord Tennyson. Um, he was the poet laureate for most of Queen Victoria's range, uh, reign. Um, his father was a priest in Lincolnshire. Um, he came from a reasonably well-off family. Um, he went to Trinity College, Cambridge, and he joined the. He was a member of the Apostles at Cambridge. Um, Okay, he, um, uh, um, let's see, he then, he, he, he was then publishing a uh, huge, uh, a large quantity of, um, of poetry. And in, I think something like 18, uh, uh, 50 something or the later in the 1850s I think he became the uh, poet laureate okay so what's this about this says if I were loved as I desire to be so he's saying that if somebody some unnamed person loved him in the way that he would really he really wants to be love then no pain could touch him and nothing would be able to uh, hurt him yeah that life would be uh, different yeah the evil of the world would be unable to touch or change or hurt him um, because this love would um, keep him safe from all the ills of the world it would leave <laughs> him impervious to uh, sadness, to the to darkness, to uh, the sadness, and, and he would not. He wouldn't even be afraid of death if he were with this person and loved as he wants to be loved. So, if I were loved as I desire to be, what is there in the great sphere of the earth? and range of evil between death and birth that I should fear. So, if I were loved by, uh, uh, in the way that I want to be, then there is nothing on earth, yeah, um, nothing uh, I that is evil, but that of the evils that exist um, during a human's lifetime, that I should fear. So, if I were loved in the way that I wanted to be, I need to be loved, then there would be nothing in this world that I could fear if I were loved by thee. So, there would be nothing to fear if I had your love. All the inner, all the outer world of pain, clear love would pierce and cleave if thou wert mine. So all of the pain, the internal pain that we feel, the mental pain, all of the physical pain, all of the pain in this world, um, uh, it would it would have it wouldn't hurt me, it wouldn't. 
cut me. It wouldn't pierce me. It wouldn't cleave. To cleave is to cut. Yeah. Um, if you were mine, I would be uh, uh, impervious to this. As I have heard, somewhere in the main, fresh water springs come up through bitter, bitter brine. Okay, th and I think here he's uh, speak now spe speaking me me metaphorically that um, he believes this because somewhere in 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 uh, in the sea in the main um, the fresh wa fresh water is pouring into the sea. Um, and he's he, he understands that if you're loved, uh, and if you love someone and l is loved in return, then fresh water will um, th this love in return is like fresh water, and it will break through and melt and destroy any depression. Yeah, this uh, it's something that will conquer all and this fresh water coming up through the bitter brine the bitter salt water of the sea <coughs> uh, um, so the bitter salt water of the world but love is a fresh spring that will wash this away uh, to joy not fear uh, clasped hand in hand with thee to wait for death okay so um if I if I was holding your hand, uh, waiting for death, uh, mute, silent, and uh, it wouldn't I wouldn't be afraid of death. Yeah, I would be uh, careless of all ills. I wouldn't care about problems. I would feel no fear. So it were joy, not fear. So I was if I was waiting for death, but holding your hand. Um, that wouldn't be a problem. This would be, uh, a, f to me, it would be a joy as we waited uh, together for death, um, apart on a mountain, so alone in the world with no one here. Uh, though the surge of some new deluge flung from a thousand hills, so uh, of some new deluge from a thousand hill flung leagues of roaring foam into the gorge below us as far as as i could see so here he's imagining that they are apart from the world waiting on a mountain top and they see huge amounts leagues of roaring foam being flung being thrown into the valley below them they see destruction on a huge scale and it's very clear that there is no possibility of escape but he's not going to fear because he's with the person that he loves he's loved in the way that he wants to be to be loved so enough if you enjoyed the video give it a rating subscribe to my channel and i will see you soon bye for now if i were loved as i desire to be by alfred lord tennyson